Ladies and gentlemen, Mixo back with another video. We're coming to an end. We're coming to the next year, guys. And that means I have to do this. I want to present you in this video 11 of my favorite specs and builds on Ascension. Let's jump right into the video. I know this was actually my first build ever on Ascension. Yeah, I need to do this. I already made a video about this. You can find it on my channel if you want to watch some, I don't know. Actually, I, I, I really don't like this build. I got a new upgrade, I got a new upload, I got a new thing that I want to show you guys. It is the Demolisher, okay? We all know Demolisher is a kind of warrior based build, but with, of course, you can play it with Hunter Tools too. To be honest, I don't think it's a great option if you're playing it on the Rear 52, but I think Demolition can really be good on Alar server. So just simple play it on Alar. And by the way, guys, I made finally a hero and I'm playing on Alar too. And I can't even believe it. Some of you guys already know me on Alar too. I think I, I was a thing on Area 52, but yeah, I'm pretty pretty surprised that some of you guys already know me on Alar too. So yeah, I'm playing on Alar now. And yeah, for the next year, I got big plans. So if you don't want to miss some content, just subscribe to the channel and leave a comment with what build I should test the next if you want to. So let's come back to the Demolition build. Okay, we all know that Ascension actually buffed the Demolition spec few days ago so maybe it's a thing again i don't know but but i will definitely test it on alar so yeah let's keep going so the demolition build actually transform your mortal strike into demolition strikes which is a stronger version of mortal strike but it don't gives you the heal reduction but it got an empowered station when you hit when you reach 10 stacks you have either exposed armor which reduce targets armor you got repose which generates two additional combo points and you your attack speed got increased or you got the mongoose pipe yes which doesn't trigger its cooldown and it's a guaranteed critical hit and it deals not anymore 25% damage it increased by 50% damage so of course you should play with mongoose bite and one thing i have to mention is i think demolition build could be a really thing a good thing on season 3 because in season 3 we're going to start with armor penetration stuff like that and we got in this build the exposed armor thing where your armor penetration is increased by 20% and let's be honest guys 100% over 100% armor penetration in a one game? Ooh, that could be really hard. We're going to use random enchants like Master of Arms, which consumes our Sank of Arms and increase our armor penetration. Or we're going also using Insatiable, which will increase the damage of our our power by 20% and it can stack up to three times and that's actually a great thing so we're playing demolition build with rent op and exposed armor and yeah all the things all the good things so that's actually the demolition build i want to keep it low guys i don't want to deep dive into a build because i just want to show you which are my favorite one and of course demolition is one of my favorite builds because i started with demolition on ascension so yeah let's keep going the second one we're going to stay with Warrior kind of builds the second one is tools of war we got there many options we could play single-minded fury with tools of war we could play titan script with tools of war but we're staying with the two-hander we're playing tools of war with rent op so basically what tools of war is each unique direct damage physical ability will grant a stack 2% against players, okay? This one is just only for PvP. So basically, it will stack up if you're pressing, for example, Bloodthirst. Then you, uh, you get a stack. You're pressing uh, Harmstring, you get a stack. You're pressing Slam, you get a stack. Each unique damage ability will grant you a stack. And it can stack up to 10 times. So we don't gonna use 10 different damaging physical skills here. We're only going for like 4 or 5. But it's also enough to perform good. I also have to mention here i don't think tools of war can perform that very well in area 52 but it can perform very very good on alar and that's what i'm playing at the moment on alar i'm playing on tools of war warrior so because dragon warrior isn't that very good on alar but it's very good on area 52 and if you compare dragon warrior with tools of war dragon warrior got of course the better performance in arena when you are compare it to tools of war and as we're playing a warrior we're also going to with master of arms random enchant else with insatiable again and in for the kill if you're playing with 
rent. Coming to the third one, warrior kinda based build. Of course, of course, of course, it's the Dragon Warrior. Okay, I'm not going to talk about Dragon Warrior that much anymore because I already made like, I don't know how many videos about it. But of course, Dragon Warrior is one of my favorite builds on Ascension in 2021. But to be honest, guys, I'm already got bored of playing Dragon Warrior and I'm just looking for a new build, to be honest. But it's still a really nice build on Area 52, but it doesn't perform that very well on LR, what I was expecting. But yeah, Dragon Warrior, usually I'm gonna just show you a video about this. You can click on the video if you want and watch a deep dive tutorial on how to play the Dragon Warrior. Coming to number four of my favorite builds, guys. It's Mana Find. Of, of course it's Mana Find. I mean, Mana Find was fun to play. It was actually, it's really, it's still nice on both servers, I guess. It's very good on Alar. It's very good on Area 52. It will increase your intellect by 25% and your direct arcane spells will replace your next melee attack by an arcane spell which consumes mana. So dealing damage that way will increase your spell damage by 10% of your intellect every second. Your arcane damaging spells will cost no mana, but you will lose from time to time more mana until you reach 20% and then you get rid of the buff and then you're going to get the mana back that you get drained off. So basically your spell power will increase to Mount Everest and then just down if you reach 20% mana. Try here to get as much mana as you can. That means a high mana pool as you can. So you can get more spell damage. Of course, it can be a really, really hard, hard build if you play it right. Okay, let me mention this. So we're playing Mana Find. Mana Find is kind of a melee based build. It's a hybrid build. Okay, you have to go onto the melee range to proc your delirium. That's why we're going to use deconstruction as a random enchant and deconstruction will increase our spell damage too. Also, we're going with we're going with arcane displacement, which will after we are fully channeling our arcane missiles, we're going to teleport us behind the enemy, which is a cool thing if you're playing with kidney. So like I said, try to get here a high mana pool. Try if you're playing on Alar, just try to go on int as much as you can. Um, if you're playing on Area 52, try with in sockets and in trinkets and stuff like that so basically you can reach a base mana pool from i don't know i i hit like 22,000 mana and it was really fun i had like 7,000 spell power at the end <laughs> and it was it, it's a real cool thing and it's fun too guys believe me coming to the next hybrid spec and build it's stormborn stormborn was one of my favorite builds of course i got many favorite builds but stormborn was a different fun okay it was a different fun i already made a video about this so if, if you want to deep dive into the stormborn just check the video out stormborn can literally one clap you if you had the right build if you had the right it can one clap you let me say that quick but of course stormborn got a time where it can shine and after that it will not perform that very well so that's why maybe stormborn isn't that very good in arena but it's fun in battlegrounds and other things and to be honest guys i think stormborn is really good on alar so if you want to try it out check it out and play it on alar and let me know it if it's fun just uh, write it in the comment section down below if you want to. Jumping right into the next hybrid spec we made. We made this build actually on a live stream, but I changed there and here some skills. But we're coming to the Rocket. Rocket, it's a huge thing right now on Area 52. It's basically overpowered kind of, but I think it's fun to play. And if you want to try it out, you can find the build in the info box down below, like every build I will mention here. And it's actually one of my favorite builds because I'm playing it, of course, and because I like it because i i saw a lot of players who made that very well and i think it's it's a great it's a great build to play and it's also fun of course it it got its down things i mean you're shifting if you're pressing some skills but i don't think you need that i don't think you need a kick i don't think you need you need ice block or bubble or stuff like that because you shrek everyone down in second if you have the right build and yeah of course if you have the right build you will shrek everyone down but rocket it's a different fun all right so if you want to play rocket we need the legendary predators Rob. so what it does it basically we can cast Rob 
off without leaving cat when we are getting the predatory strike effect. And then we're just simply trying to get as much as possible attack power because we're getting a lot of attack power when we're switching to the cat form and with mental quickness we're going to get spell damage too that means we're trying to get as much as possible attack power okay we're stacking up attack power so that we can get a high pool of spell damage because also our wrath can creep that means it will basically make non-crit damage but it's enough believe me guys i'm shooting wraths like with 2700 that's 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 all <laughs> that's all that's simple so yeah try to go on mental quickness because you need mental quickness to play raw cat all right and try to get as much as possible on attack power that's all and then you try to boost your wrath damage with the balance tree from druid and then you're good to go you can play a wrath cat but i will do another video for this okay i'm going to deep dive into this build and gonna upload a video so there are basically some skills you can play as a rocket you can play with a pet you can play with void walker but you also can play it without them all you're basically just a cat a kitty cat and this is what i would recommend you if you're just starting the raw cat new i would recommend you to not play with a pet because you can focus on the rotation and stuff like that and if you are getting into it then i would recommend you to get a pet maybe or to get the void welcome so we're going to use random enchants like deathmark which will transform our premeditation into deathmark and it will instantly add five combo points and you need five combo points to make a hundred percent guaranteed proc on predatory to strike after you're using rip or bite for example and yeah deathmark will help you to get the five combo points faster of course coming to the next build in my list it's actually the immolate caster and the chaos bolt caster actually the destruction warlock build i already made a video about this so i'm not going to deep dive into this video but it's fun as hell so i have to mention this build here on this video too controlled burn we're going to use the random enchant controlled burn so our conflict rate will no longer consume immolate that means we can just press immolate and then we can conflict rate every time so the controlled burn build is actually one of my favorite builds because it reminds me every time on a destruction warlock and to, to be honest guys who the fuck doesn't like a destruction warlock it was fun on retail it is still fun on ascension so if you want to play destruction warlock and listen to some rock music check out my last video i think it was a three insane caster build i made a video about the control burn already so i'm not going to talk about this one but in the info box down below you can find the build too so have fun guys jumping right into the next build it is shadow dots i also made a video about this it was also the three insane caster builds i've mentioned before so also here i'm not going to deep dive into this build but you can find the build in the info box down below i like shadow dots because you kite you play it right you win that's all kiting and out playing smart and using all of your cd right will of course win your fight shadow dots is nice to play and of course number one in the ladder is a shadow dots player who's actually playing very well so yeah, if you want to try it out, check it out in the info box down below or check my video out, the three insane caster builds I've made. Coming to one of my favorite, favorite this year is Frostbomb and I think you guys like it too. I also made a, actually this one is also in the video that I made already, the three insane caster build, the Frostbomb mage. It is also fun to play, but we are just talking about my favorite builds in 2021 and not about I don't want to present you some new builds here in this video. One thing that should be cleared out here. And Frostbomb is actually just a simple Frost Mage. If you like the Frost Mage in retail, you will like Frostbomb too. Frostbomb will give you as a new spell. So that means it's like the living bomb, okay? You're just casting on the enemy and after you cast the Frostbolt, it will explode. And after, uh, after I don't know, I think six seconds, it will explode again so it's just a living bomb as a frost have fun with the build also in the info box down below or you can find a deep dive video in my three insane caster build videos okay guys coming to the next build it's actually a new build i've made and uh, it is fire fire fireball it is fun to play in arena it is fun to play in the battlegrounds so let's have a look on the random enchant it is actually a epic random enchant so after we casting our fireball twice our next fireball will the custom will slow down of course but it will trigger a wave of fireballs okay that that looks amazing to be honest that looks amazing and you can of course 
one shot someone this is the random enchant we're using we are actually using only the epic one but i think if you're using it together with the legendary random enchant flame on which will increase actually our damage and the crit we are doing with fire blast and we also can spec into the fire tree on impact which will stun the target if you're using fire blast so we can cast a fireball without disrupting i already saw this build on alar and it performs very well like what i see it was fun actually to see how people getting shred by a second fireball and then the wave of fireball was actually insane so you can also play this with presence of mind like you casting fireball fireball and then presence of mind and then the instant fireball waves yeah this looks like fun to be honest guys okay this looks like fun test it out um build in the info box down below like always coming to the last build in this video it is master of shadows it is to be honest our uh, only one versus one build but i saw this build already a plenty of time and i played against this build and it was always fun but yeah it is basically Master of Shadows, what it does, it will deal extra shadow damage when you are Eviscerate, Garret, or Rupture, or Sinistrax someone. And yeah, from time to time it will increase your damage. So that means your ticks and your dots and your bleeds are gonna deal more damage. So basically what you do, you open up with Garret and then uh, working with Rupture and stuff like that. You pressing all of your dots on the enemy, then Dragon Breath maybe and run behind the pillar to get into a stealth and let the dot tick the enemy away this is simple it's it's it sounds simple but it's actually i think a hard build to manage to play it right to play it well if you're getting out of stealth you kind of lost already the game or if you do one little mistake you already lost the game but i like builds like that where you have to play it perfectly and and this video is yeah my favorite build so far and master of shadows yeah one of my favorite one versus one builds in ascension we can work with random enchants like twilight which will heal us from our bleed actually because we're working with bleed and imagine you're just bleed the enemy and you have to run to a pillar to stealth and then you just simply let yourself heal in stealth and getting HP back so you can open up again doing all the same stuff again and playing kind of all playing kind of smart the enemy that's it also in the info box down below you can find the build so you can play with it and maybe you can work this stuff out and make a better build actually out of this but nevertheless those are my 11 favorite builds in ascension so far let's hope the next year will give us new talents new builds and new random enchants to test to play Play and have fun with and yeah i will update everything in the next year and i got like i said i got big plans for the next year i'm going to stream on twitch so if you don't miss a stream just follow my twitch you can find the link in the info box down below also you can subscribe to this channel and ring the bell to not miss a new video that i'm uploading in the next year all right that's it with the video guys i hope you enjoyed it i hope you think um those builds are kind of fun too. What's your favorite build that you liked in 2021? Let me know it in the comment section down below. And yeah, thanks for watching guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for all the subs. And we are almost hitting the 500 subs. This is actually amazing. And I hope I can reach the 500 subs this year. And yeah, you will do me a favor if you sub the channel. And yeah, thanks for watching guys. Have a wonderful blessed day. Have a wonderful blessed night. Bye bye guys.